In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can use um, our check-in tool to check in your attendees at the door. Um, we're going to go into one of our events and click on the check-in tool there to get to it. Um, you can use the check-in tool um, on a computer, on a tablet, or even on a smartphone. And you can have multiple people um, checking in attendees on multiple devices at your event. Um, you can um, either check in people if you're using RSVP or ticketing or registration. Um, we're going to go into one of the events where we're managing attendees by RSVP to show you how to check in attendees that way. It's gonna show you here in the overview screen each of your RSVP events. If you click on the check-in tool, it gives you some options at the top. First of all, by default, it's gonna show attending um, only. So these are people who RSVP'd as attending. However, if you wanna see everybody on your attendee list, even people who did not RSVP, you can just click on all attendees at the top there. You can also refresh the check-in screen here. And for this event, I have three sub-events for which I've created three different RSVP events. You can check in people for one or all at the same time if you wish. I'm gonna turn all three on because I'm gonna be checking in people for all three sub-events. Um, my main event and basically two sub events. Um, I can scroll down and find the person if I want. Everyone is in alphabetical order here. And to check them in, I just simply slide from red to green, from left to right, and that will check someone in. I can also go up here to the search field. I can type in their first or last name to search for them. And I can also type in um, like the table name or number. I can type in their company name, their title. I can type anything that you see on the page, you can type in into the search field there. To add an attendee on the fly, you simply click on add attendee. You select the RSVP event or events that you wanna add them to. Um, we only require first name and last name. Once you click on the add now button, they are added to the attendee list and checked in. You can also use the self check-in tool. You'd select one or multiple of the event RSVP or event RSVP events there and then the person or attendees can just put in their first and last name to find themselves and manually check in. That's if you want to basically put a tablet on a desk. We're going to show you now how to check in attendees for a ticketing or registration event. Um, and the overview page is going to show you um, current status of who's checked in on what tickets. Um, to check people in, you just click on check in. Um, at the top here, um, it's got instructions for using um, the QR code scanner on your phone to check in people's, uh, the QR code uh, via their ticket. Um, you can simply scroll down and find the person in the list and slide it over again, left to right. Um, um, it will give you a timestamp there of when they've checked in. You can also type in the person's first or last name here to check them in. Or you can also type in their order number or their ticket number um, to find them. And then once you found them, you can just simply slide it, check, check them in, and it'll put a timestamp, time and date stamp on that. You can also click on the order number to look up their order information if you need to find that on the fly. Um, if in the setting up your tickets, you uh, selected to sell your tickets at the door, um, it, you can do that right here through the sell button. Um, again, you can collect credit card, check or cash. Once you hit the continue button, um, you can put in the payment information and confirm the ticket and the person will get an email confirming their purchase. You can also use the self check-in right here so people can self check in by first last name or by their ticket number. Again, if you just wanna put a tablet on a desktop. That's how you can use the check-in tool to check in people for either um, RSVP style events or ticketing and registration style events. But do let us know if you have additional questions.